Oh! He oh takes God. a hit from Corozo by a lair. This is a max out Zerg. He was maxed out at seven and a half how, minutes. How? That's how long it took Dark to max out against Innovation in Shellcraft Kings. Now that was impressive even back then. Since Wings of Liberty, players have been racing to hit max out times, going as far as holding competitions with leaderboards, with top players reaching 200 supply with insane times. But can my bot surpass the record? Let's find out. Well, hello there. This is Bits of Code, the show about what it takes to code a StarCraft II AI that wins. I'm Draken, and more or less, it takes a pro seven to eight minutes to max out with a proper macro build. But if you don't have to worry about an opponent and just do whatever it takes to get to 200, 200 as fast as you can, it's a different exercise. The perfect next step for my bot, which can do everything everywhere all at once. Meet John Bomb, a 5K Masters player and the current record holder of the Melee Max Out Challenge with 546. We're gonna beat that record. And since our bot doesn't have the weaknesses of the flesh, it should be no problem. Now to defeat the human, I first needed to know the human. That meant going over his replay. The map we're using is Prion Terraces, and this map is from the very first latter season of Legacy of the Void. It has six, can you believe this, six gold bases, most notably in the natural. Now, the key thing I'm going to, need to add to my initial bot is Chrono Boost. I need to expand to multiple locations, add additional gateways, research warp gate, and then warp in a whole lot of Z-Lots. With all these gold bases though, I'm not really sure it's going to be a problem. Chrono Boost was straightforward. I just took the ability into an if statement, target the Nexus when it's not idle, done. If we want to mimic our human player and kind of play guy like he, we're going to want to follow that same path and take those gold bases without taking the regular base. Maybe in not the exact same order. I don't think that necessarily matters, but we want to get the gold bases. I set an expansion index of negative one, and then each time it expanded, incremented that index by one. I use that same expansion list to control the if statement. I got a list to store all the gold bases on the map, then sort that list by proximity to the starting location, and then I just expanded the three gold bases. Okay, so the next step is to add gas. Build gas. If we have less than two gas and we have a gateway. Uh, We'll just tell it to build gas for now. Okay, for Nexus, in self town hall, ready. Looks pretty good. If not, self can afford. Okay, so if we can't, okay, if we don't can't afford it, break. So don't do it. Got it. Okay, let's actually keep this. Let's see this. Let's see if that works. Okay, it's just building gas randomly. I probably should tell it to not. Is it saturating this gas? Uh, you know what? I don't think it's gonna be that big deal for what we need it to do, but I'm probably gonna have to optimize if I want to get this done at like a really fast speed. Cybernetics core. We need to get a cybernetics core in here. Put some simple logic. We have no cyber core. Build one. Interesting. Can I go closest to Nexus? Okay, let's see if we get a cybernetics core out of this. Oh, there it is, cybernetics core. Let's build it. Once we got warp gate, we should be able to produce zealots fast enough. Let's get into it. Oh, like it's psychic. Like it's just it's a little creepy that it knows that I want to make warp gate. I didn't tell it that. Whatever. Uh, if the cyber core is complete, I'm guessing it's starting to figure out what I want. If CC core no Q, CC core research warp gate. Okay, well, I don't see why not. Let's go if cell dot pending upgrade. Let's try that. Check if an upgrade is being researched. Already pending upgrade. Warp gate research equals zero. There we go. So for gateway in self structure unit type ID ready. So let's go gateway, just the gateway. Ability morph ID. Oh, morph warp gate. Okay. So what we should see now is it should morph warp, warp gate and stop building zealots because we haven't taught it how to build zealots out of warp gate. What we may want to do is completely restructure this code to be like build zealots from warp gates. Else, if there's no warp gates, build them from gateways. And I feel like that might be the most efficient method to get this code to work the way I want it. Let's change this. That way Copilot knows what I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna actually keep all this and then edit it. This should work properly. Gateway, gateway, expands, perfect, expanding, getting gas. This gas saturation is like super weak, but whatever. 
I'll figure out what that, what's going on there. It's expanding, it's getting a gateway, it's building, it's building, it's learning warp gate. Is it warping in? Yeah, it's warping in. Okay, we're warping in, we're warping in. A little inefficient right now, but it's working. So we've done it. We've gotten all the main pieces that we need. Now with all these basics in place, I think it's time to run the code and finish up this challenge, don't you? Pylon, building gas, saturates the gas. I wonder why it took so long to build anything. We're building as quickly as it can, and we're about still nine minutes. Uh... Something was wrong because even with gold bases and my bot literally can do everything at the same time, the best I could come up with was around nine minutes. I cleaned up things like gas saturation, but still it was a far cry from five minutes and 46. So I have no choice. I had to look at this replay again. It's expanding actually first before building anything. He's already up to three bases or he's building two bases, four bases now. Now he's building a gateway after the fourth base. Interesting. I was willing to accept that this fleshy bag of DNA knew something. So if I started replicating their build, it should easily yield a max out. They used strategic recall at two minutes and 40 to move eight probes over from the main to the third, cutting down on transfer time. 13 gateways, cyber core all around one pylon. Get my zealots all to warp in at the same time and chrono boost two of the warp gates to speed up the cooldown. I also noticed that a lot of small moves, probes bringing back minerals between buildings, multiple buildings being built by the same probe. There is so much I haven't done before and I figured I'm going to need some help. Rasper is part of Team Eris and their bot Eris has won multiple competitions. Eris is a robust bot with all sorts of builds. So if there's someone who's gonna give me some insight on getting my bot to hit this timing, it was Rasper. Uh, in general, like to do what you want, you're gonna kind of need more customized logic because throughout you're using a lot of the help functions in Python Starcraft 2. To have the level of control you want, you really need to be keeping track of all your probes and like keeping track of if they're moving down to place a structure. Oh, uh, those types of things. And obviously, with the mind, the distribute workers function that that can be quite invasive because say you're trying to give precise control to a probe, the distribute workers will come in and try and steal that probe and send it back to mining. Yeah, so, that, I noticed that when I tried. That's why I, I think I edited it out because I, that's exactly what happened. But I think probably the first step would be to have some like custom mining. Uh, and that should give you a little bit more income as well. Over. I genuinely think this is the solution. I think for the purpose of what we're tra I'm trying to do, like there, there are other things I could optimize, I think though, but for this, at the, I've already seen the power of like how I gather the minerals changes the timing. If I can gather them in such a way that is just super optimal, that will that will change everything. I'll change the game. The other solution is to figure out how to get 13 gateways. I think that'd be quite a difficult problem to solve. Yeah. Like right. maybe if there's nothing else to optimize, then maybe you'd look at something like that. Yeah. Okay, so secret weapon time. When workers collect the minerals, there's a slight slowdown when they go to drop them off. Top players figured out in the early game to avoid slowdown, you can issue a move command close to the mineral and then shift click command to collect the minerals. It can boost your income upwards of 4% and this changes the timings of builds. Bot authors have figured out how to code this, but for the whole game, we call it speed mining. Now frustrated with building speed mining from scratch, I downloaded an open source bot, pulled out its worker management code, and reverse engineered it to work in my bot, overseeing all my probes. I refactored my expansion code and used the expansion index to control going to six bases. And I just one probe handle all the buildings, sending it in advance of having the minerals. Used if statements with self dot time to point Chrono Boost to the last two warp gates. Adding strategic recall was a matter of calling the ability similar to Chrono Boost and giving it a point two coordinates. I tried to get the 13 gateways to fit around the one pylon, but my bot refused to build the last one. And I wasn't sure why so i ended up just going with 12 hoping it would be enough let's see what we got a little bit of a supply block just a little bit the cyber nice course is still a little slower than i'd like just keep pumping it out just pump it out oh my god almost there oh my god oh jesus just keep pumping them out oh awful so close oh my god look at that six minutes Oh. That's so close. Six minutes and 14 seconds. Okay, so, so close. Almost there. It's funny if I had one more gateway, or gateway would do it. <sighs> I don't know. 
I don't know where, where, where do I start I don't know why I chose such a difficult challenge uh, to begin with this code is driving me nuts I'm starting to like go into such weird thoughts where I'm just thinking to myself maybe John Bond is a bot and I am trying to outdo another bot I thought this would be so easy because all I had to do was make the bot be perfect I think I think I think I think I might just I might just give up I might just give up I don't know the build order the best I can I tried to optimize around the pylon trying to get the probes to move ahead of time I don't know what else to try I have tried everything and I'm still can't get rid of that that extra 40 seconds 40 seconds I just I don't know what else to do first if we're talking about list of possible priorities is cut down on the travel time for the probe if that fails then somehow figure out getting 12 gateways in around one pylon that's it those are the options nothing more that's it that's hope this works then When it came to gateways around the one pylon, I found the bot wouldn't place the 13th gateway, which was crazy weird. I couldn't see any reason why, but a viewer from my stream pointed out that the way the human lays it was different than the way the build method worked. My bot was having a hard time placing buildings in a suboptimal way. Is my layout not gonna let me do this at all? Oh no, oh no. How did he do it then? What the hell? There you have it, you're right, all right. Is that 13, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13? Ah, crap. See, now, yeah, now I have to code this. This actually seems more painful than it's worth. With help from the stream viewers, we extracted the X and Y coordinates for placements and hard-coded the building locations to match the humans. I hard-coded timings for the probe to pick up the minerals in between buildings, and this just shaved off a few seconds. All right, yeah, take the minerals, take it off how many will we get seven okay seven's good Seven's doable it's workable all right yeah take the minerals take it off how many will we get? Oh. Five twenty-six. <sighs> oh. I'm free. I'm free. I don't know why I made this so hard. <laughs> I shouldn't have made this so hard on my. Can't believe it's over. Finally over. Over a thousand replays generated and 500 lines of code later, I finally did it. I defeated the human meat bag. But I jest and I tip my hat to you, John Bomb. You were a very worthy opponent. And I'll admit it, there are some things that are very easy for a human to do and are a lot of hours of work for a bot. And I'll tell you this, that there are probably better ways to have done this, but I'll leave that to you to discover. I've left a link in the description below if you want to give it a try. But until next episode, may the bugs be ever in your favor. Happy coding.